Today I'll be playing Gotham Chess's dog in a game of chess. Gotham Chess's? That sounds weird. Levy Rosman, his dog. I'm going to be playing him in a game of chess. But not just his dog. Five dogs total that chess.com has added to the bot section. You can see the dogs here. Wish Boy, Benji, that's Gotham Chess's dog, by the way. Buddy Buckets, Pinky, and Ponchik with the rating of 2600. There's a link in the description if you'd like to play these dogs yourself. Let's get started and see if we can beat all five of them. All right, here we go. Wish Boy is rated 950. Let's play something aggressive and win this game quickly. Let's go for the Bishop's opening, immediately attacking the weak f7 square. Ah, Bishop c5. Interesting move by our opponent, mirroring what we're trying to do here. Let's play Knight to f3 and see how Wish Boy is going to respond to this. Knight to c6. Okay. So there's almost a tactic here where we can take and fork these pieces and get into a good position. But it doesn't quite work because if I take this right now and the knight takes and I play d4, I actually lose my bishop to the knight. So I end up losing two pieces and only getting one back. So I'm not going to be doing that. I'm actually just going to castle. Get my king out of the center. And let's play c3 and get ready to strike with d4 and just get this on center going. Okay, bishop g4 kind of counters what I'm trying to do. Now, whenever you see a bishop on g4 that's undefended in line with your queen, you want to ask yourself, do you have any tactics? So can I take here, follow it up with a fork, and win a piece? In this case, the answer is no, because the knight's going to recapture and defend the bishop. So it doesn't quite work. So I'm going to play h3 and ask that bishop a question of what is it going to do? It does go back. Okay. So I don't really want to play d4 anymore because we have this pin, right? Because if I play d4, black's going to take me, and then they're going to jump in here, and they're all over this knight. So what I'm going to do instead is just play d3. Just play it a little bit slow, slower and, and get this bishop out. I think that's totally fine. Let's go bishop to e3. Yes, I'll get some doubled pawns if they take, which they do not. But it's going to open up my rook. Okay, let's keep developing. No reason to do anything crazy just yet. And now they take. So interesting decision to go back and then take. Kind of cost black a tempo there. Now, I'm looking at these pieces. I'm seeing the bishop can come in. That looks like a very annoying move. And I think I will do that. So how's black going to defend this is the question. Okay, so they save the knight, but they're going to lose the rook. Bishops are three points, rooks are five. That's a good trade. Let's go ahead and take it. D4, why not? One of the advantages of having doubled pawns here is if black ever decides to take me, I have lots of pawns here in the center with some nice control there. Okay, so let's think through this. If I play G4, force the bishop back, I can take, take, take and win a pawn Although maybe something is happening here, which I need to keep an eye on. I think I'm okay with that. Let's play g4. I'm going to be aggressive here. Knight to e4. Wasn't expecting that, but it looks like it's just losing a piece. Uh, do I want to take here first and then take that? I think I will. Trades off a piece, gets me closer to the end game, and I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and take the bishop. Yes, there's a check here, but who cares? We'll just move. It's not a big deal. Okay. So where's the knight going? Here or here? What do I want to do about that? Can I just take this and not worry about it? I'm going to get forked. Maybe I don't really want to get forked. So how do we deal with this is the question. Queen to e2. I'd be happy with the queen trade. It walks into knight g3. So how about queen d2 instead? Again, I'd be happy with the queen trade. And if the knight takes, I can actually pin the knight. And that looks... Pretty good. Takes, takes. Eh, I would lose a little bit there, but still, I think that's. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I can even actually go this way. And on this, we can take there. All right. So it's a little bit tricky, but I think queen d2 is going to be the move for us. And now I'm thinking this rook, because if I play this one, which was my original intention, the knight's going to capture. And yes, I can take the queen, but then I'm also going to lose my queen. Yes, I can take it. I'm still going to be winning, but then it's not as easy. And I think this way makes more sense. So let me just check. Make sure there's no crazy moves with the queen that are going to bother me. The only one that I'm thinking is this, and then I simply take. It's a nice little trade, and I'm happily up a rook, which is going to be enough to win. So which, which way do we want to take here? Both look pretty good. Let's take with the queen, get the battery going here, get ready to take here next move, or just take the queen. And all right, now it's pretty straightforward. Let's open up, get to the king. Here we go. Here comes the queen. Here we go. 
I'm going to bring the rook over and down and go for a quick checkmate. Okay, well, black is just clearly uh, not worried about saving her pieces. This dog needs some work. That's all I can say. All right, let's just keep taking stuff. It's fun to take free pieces. Let's go over here, and I'm starting to see a checkmate. All right, no stalemates because black has pawns to move. There we go. Wish boy is defeated. Let's move on to the next bot. Benji. Ah, this is this is the Gotham chess dog. So here we go. Let's see if Benji knows his opening theory. Of course, he's going to play the Vienna Gambit. Why am I not surprised? Well, uh, basically, the way that you play against this is you play d5. Okay, didn't play it. I was expecting to see that. Let's just play d5 anyway. Get those pawns in the center. Let's go ahead and counter pin this knight here. We can threaten d4 if Benji's not paying attention. Goes back. Interesting decision there. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and castle and get my king out of the center. Now I can start thinking about stuff like this. Rook to c1. Very kind of a weird looking move. Uh, can I win a pawn? That's my question now. Takes, 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 takes. If the queen's trade happened and the bishop... Yeah, that looks pretty good for me. And at the end of all that stuff... I'd be able to play rook e8, boom, lining up on the king. So I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and trade. And trade. And trade, or do I want to trade here? No, I think I'll just leave it. Of course, if white takes, I'll just happily recapture. Bishop there, okay. So how do we want to play this? A couple of ways we could do this. We could take here. Of course, we're happy if the king takes. We have a fork, so the rook would have to take. Don't know that I necessarily love that. We can come over here and threaten. Checkmate. It's pretty easy to stop with g3. Actually, it's not easy to stop because I would take that, and then I have an attack on the bishop. So that's kind of an interesting idea. Queen h4. Could also play just c5, just attacking the bishop that way because it's defended with the knight. I do like this though. I do like this. Yes, g3. We take it. If the bishop takes here, am I okay? That's the question. I take the rook. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's do it. Queen to h4. Let's see if we can just... Okay, g3. So we are going to see it. Let's go ahead and capture it. We have the threat of taking over here. And Benji does not see that. So there we go. And uh, we're just up a couple of pawns. All right, let's see. Should we get greedy and take another one? Or should we go here? Aha. And take a rook. That's even better. So there we go. And what Benji failed to do here... Is develop and castle and you can see why that's kind of a big deal all right let's play bishop g4 backing here get ready to trade some stuff off <clears throat> okay and because i'm ahead <clears throat> the easy thing to do is just force a trade just force everything to get traded <coughs> apologize i just lost my voice let's go knight c6 Probably bring the rook over, push the pawn, maybe push both pawns once we get the king out of the way. There we go, f5, threatening e4. Okay. We'll slide the king to the side and probably hop the knight in. Let's do it. Okay, let's keep going. Opens up the rooks. Nope, all right, we'll just keep pushing the pawns then. We're going to go get a queen. Let's bring the knight in to help out. And we've got the rooks perfectly positioned. Do I even need to move my knight? I don't have to. I mean, I could. Actually, let's do this first. Attacks the rook, and then we can hop in with a check. Forces the king out of the way, and then bam, we get the queen. That's going to do it. That is going to do it. Okay, that's checkmate in two. Good game, Benji. But I'm afraid... Uh, it, it seemed like Wish Boy actually... Survive longer than Benji did, if I'm remembering. Anyway, let's keep going. Buddy Buckets. Knight c3. All right, we're going to play d5. <clears throat> e4. I'm just going to take it and then develop my pieces. Play knight to f6. Yes, I will get some doubled pawns. But what it does is open up my bishops right away, which I'm pretty happy about. Okay, let's keep going. Get both of the knights out there. Knights before bishops, that's the general rule. I see an opportunity to gain a tempo here on the queen. Actually, two different ways, three different ways. Which one's better? I think I'm going to go with bishop g4. I, just, I like the, the look of that, getting a new piece out. Okay, 
I'm going to, hmm, can I get away with this move? Then we have, ooh, that's checkmate. That would be so nice. Where else would the queen go, though? I don't know. I'm going to try it. Which looks too good to pass up. Look at that checkmate. Ah, too bad. Too bad. Buddy Buckets didn't want it. Okay. I think we can just play e5. Just defend the knight with another pawn. Get the bishop out there. This looks great for me. Looks really great. Okay. How do we how do we take advantage of this? We take and play bishop f5 with the threat. Queen's gonna take. Then we could go there. Or we could play bishop f5 first. Then there's like f3, which I mean it's still not a great position. Mm, yeah, I guess we take. Yeah, it's gotta be good, right? We're gonna go ahead and take. The idea is we want to drop our bishop back with a th threat right here. Yes, we're going to lose a pawn, but I don't really care. I'm going to play bishop e7 and be happy. This is defended. This is defended. We have a threat. We're getting ready to castle and bring the rook over. There's no way, no way that white can survive this. So let's jump in for the fork. Now, our bishop is undefended at this point. So I could actually save it. And I think. I think I will do that because if I take this, I lose my bishop, my knight gets trapped. I might actually lose both of those for a rook. It really isn't a great trade. So let's go ahead and actually save this guy. And yes, it gives white the option to do this, but that's fine. I still think white's in big trouble. And I want to get my king out of the center because now I can start using my rook. I don't have to worry about any sort of checks over here that could cause problems. And so... Yeah, feeling pretty good about this. Let's go bishop f6, activates another piece. Actually threatening to take this because of the pin. Okay, white defends, so probably a good move there. Let's actually go for checkmate. So rook to e8, threatening checkmate in one move if white doesn't stop it. They do stop it, kind of, but it's still a good move for us. And so, yeah, let's do that. Here comes the rook. And I guess we just take the bishop. Let's see what else we have. Don't really see anything better than that at a quick glance, so we'll just take the free piece. Why not? And now I think what I want to do is get my queen into the game. Or I could even play bishop h4. The idea of coming in like this. So many good moves here. Yeah, I think I want the... Mm, yeah, let's, let's just get the queen. It also gives the option to bring the rook over, which looks super powerful. Bishop h4 now looks even better, I think. Can't checkmate immediately because the queen is guarding it. But what I can do is go here. And now we're threatening to come in multiple ways. Okay, and white decides just to give up the queen. All right, still a pretty easy win. Everything is falling for, for white here. I, I don't, there's so many pieces to take. I don't even know. I don't even know which one to take. I mean, look at this. Let's, wow. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. The, could have taken two rooks and I took a pawn. That's hilarious. And white just goes there. Okay. Anyway, we're still going to win the game. Let's come down here and get ready to take this guy. Okay. Let's see. Let's just pile up on that knight. It's just too much. It's just too much for black to handle. Okay. Here we go. Um, Where's the checkmate, guys? Where is the checkmate? Let's take this way because my bishop was under attack. And now we have check. Let's see. If I go here, that's not checkmate. If I go here, that's checkmate. There we go. Good game, buddy buckets. Next bot. Pinky, 1750. All right, so I'm going to have to play a little bit more conservative maybe here just making sure that i play good moves let's play knight f6 and again try to get those two pawns in the center right away okay we'll go ahead and do that and let's just defend the white's attacking we're defending um let's just go with a kind of a safe square for the bishop on e7 sometimes on c5 it can get attacked and it, you know you have to be a little bit more careful on e7 it's it's pretty safe we'll just go back Keep the knight in a good square, putting pressure on the center. Let's go ahead and castle and finish our development. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just trying to play good, solid moves here. 
Let's go here, put the pin on the, the knight, threatening knight to d4. Okay, so I could take it, and it really clamps down on that d4 square. I'm actually considering that. White's bishop's not super powerful. But I think I will do that. Uh, I'm not really concerned about giving white the bishop pair in this case because of this super nice looking square right here. So let's let's go ahead and just jump in right away. And the next thing that I'm going to do, first I'll play c6, shut down the knight, just stops any ideas that, that white has. Okay, bishop there. And now what I'm going to do is play queen to d7. I want to get room here for my rooks. I'm making room for my rooks. I was also attacking that too, but white defended. Okay, now I'm going to, which one do I want to use? I think this one. I might want this guy to go to the, the C file. Basically, when you have a backward pawn like this, you want to blockade it so it can't move forward, pile up some pieces, and then look for how you can win a pawn. That's essentially what we're trying to do here. So I also see this idea of bishop b4, and there's a very nice fork there after the trade. Seems seems actually not that easy to stop, so let's, let's actually try it. Bishop to b4. I think white's going to see this and deal with it, and they do. But it was, uh, I feel like it was worth a shot. Okay, so here we go. I want to win this pawn. I'm thinking we hop the knight back. And how is white going to defend? I don't know. Let's see. It's, it's not that easy. All right, so here's the idea. Just win a pawn. Okay, so they're going to go there. And there is a potential to lose a pawn here. So let's think through this carefully. What if I take, if the queen takes... And there's also this one. All right, so maybe we do have to deal with this. Maybe I just go back. Maybe I just go back. Because this is defended. Yeah, I think I do. Let's just go back, save the bishop that way. We still have the pressure here. The pawn's not going anywhere, right? That's the nice thing. It's not going anywhere. So I've got some time here. I'm going to play the move b5. And what I'm trying to do is... Shut down this queen a little bit so that my queen can freely move. Okay, a4. But still, maybe I can still push here. Yeah, let's just do this. Locking it up. I'm keeping the position kind of locked up. White does have two bishops. I have two knights. Knights are generally better in closed off positions. That's kind of what I'm going for here. Let's say, you know, maybe c5 is the move. I'm not going to let white play d4 and get rid of that weakness. I'm just not going to let it happen. You have to be careful. White's trying to open up the position here, which is not ideal. It's not ideal. So I don't think I'm going to take here and let them just, you know, recapture and then push and open up this bishop. That could get dangerous. But I think what I'm going to do instead, I could also play f5 here, which would make this a target. Or just take this. Hmm. So what do we do here? The pro 90 d4 almost looks like a nice move. The problem is after it, the capture... I have to close off that file and I no longer have a target. So I'm trying to avoid that. I really am. Also, I don't want to lose this pawn. So I'm thinking here, but then what happens after f5? I'm going to have to bring the, the knight in. Yeah, I don't really see a way around it, unfortunately. So I need to play here to defend my pawn so I can recapture if white takes. But on f5, I can't just retreat the knight or I'm losing this guy. And so unfortunately, I was trying to avoid this but I think I'm going to have to play knight to d4. And you're going to see, now when I recapture, I no longer have pressure on that pawn. So that's why I didn't want to do that. And that being said, it's not the end of the world. If I take this way and the queen takes, I still get some counterplay here. Or we could take this way. I'm the one now with the backward pawn, which I don't love. This pinky seems to be rather tricky. Maybe what I'm going to do... Hmm. <laughs> do I want to open up my bishop and try to launch an attack on the king? That's another plan. Let's do that. Let's go for it. See if we can take advantage of some of these dark squares on Pinky's king over here. Do I want to give that up? Not exactly. Not exactly. Hmm. So queen e7, queen d6, bishop here or here, or just ignore it and go on the counterattack. I'm going to go with queen e7. It gives me options if I want. Later I can line up here. But also just, yeah, he's just piling up on that. I don't, I don't like this dog. I don't like this dog. Well, um, I think if I go back with the knight. That actually looks pretty good because it temporarily defends, but also sets up to maybe hop in here, which looks like a pretty great square. 
So let's do that. Okay, mage four, interesting move. So I want to go here, but I'm losing a pawn. So maybe I should defend that first. Maybe I'll try to use my rook. And this is like a dual purpose move here. Gets ready to defend with the rook. Also gets out of the, the line of fire from the bishop. Okay, the knight's probably trying to come in. So this is this is tricky. Is now the moment to go for this. If the queen takes, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I don't know. What if I take here first, unleashes my rook, and then if the rook takes, my knight jumps in. If the pawn takes, I grab this guy. That looks pretty good. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I'm, oh, okay. So I can just take this, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Everything is defended. It's still tricky, but I'm happy with my pawn. Yeah, it's still tricky because because white is attacking me here. I'm going to have to survive this one. We have knight b6. I don't know where the queen's going to move to. Maybe here or here. Do I like that? Do I like that? I can also come in here with the idea of potentially going over here. I don't know why. White probably wants to play this move, which looks pretty scary. So maybe I need to play knight b6 just to get the queen out of there. All right, let's go knight b6. I don't think I want to allow this along with the queen. Okay, yeah, white is still trying to do that. So what do we do? Do we bring the queen back to defend? Maybe that's the idea. Let's go here. As long as we can survive this attack. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't have a ton of options with my knight. Don't have a ton of options. I guess we got to go here. But e6. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I don't want to just move and allow this because if I take there, oh no, there's not, there's not. So I could do that. I could just move here. But what happens when the rook comes over? That's the big question. What happens when the rook comes over? Here's the thing. If I go here and a rook comes over, then I no longer really have the option to take here because the rook comes down and I think I'm in trouble. Man, maybe I could still survive. Queen f7. Maybe it's actually okay. All right, let's try it. Let's play knight f6. Maybe that's better than I realized. Okay. Queen goes back there. So what if I just take this? It undoubles the pawns though. Feels like that might not be the best approach. What if I go here? The idea is I'm trying to just trade some stuff off. Hmm. Such a tricky, such a tricky dog. What if I go here with the idea of hopping into that square? That kind of looks amazing, actually. It looks like such an amazing square. Let's play knight to g4. Because what's white going to do when I get my knight there? This? Is what you're going to do? I'm going to push by. Yes, this is a, a risky pawn that I'm going to have to keep an eye on, but I didn't want to allow the, the diagonals to open. Let's go here. There's the fork. Okay. We could also play this move. And the point is, we're going to get a pass pawn, which looks very dangerous. Hmm. I don't want to do that. The question. That is the question. Pretty good, actually, getting that pawn going. The other option is I just take, and then what? How do I get through this position after that? How do we get through? Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go over this one and see what happens. So the rook take. Okay, so I could play c5 and still get through, but then I just I'm just losing all my pawns, which I don't love. I don't love that. How do we get out of this jam? Because if I move the queen, I'm in trouble. That's clearly a, a problem. What do we do? What do we do? Maybe I blockade it with the rook instead of the queen so my queen can move. Maybe I get my king here to help blockade and also out of the line of the fire. But then what about these guys? Do I need those to be defended? Not really. I guess we can always play h6 if we need to if somehow a rook comes over here. Okay. Okay, this is going to have to be slow and very carefully calculated. Let's go here. 
want to put my king here to use that as a to blockade. Okay. So we just have to figure out a way to attack some stuff. How about like that? How about like that? What is white planning on doing? Let's go here and threaten the pawn. Okay, they're going to attack that. I can just play h6. No, no problem there. Okay, we can take the pawn. And if we lose this, it's just a trade. Does the rook come in, though? That's the big question. Yeah, maybe I don't want to allow that. So let's go here. Let's go here and actually defend. And then we can take this guy. Okay. Let's go here. I'm willing to sacrifice this if it's the right time. I am. Like, maybe now. We will have three, six, seven. We'll have seven pawns against five. We still have this annoying E pawn. But we have it blockaded, and that's going to be gone. We can, like, push this maybe, or I don't know what else. But I think I'm going to have to, just to break through somehow. Otherwise, what can I do? Not a, not a whole lot. So let's go ahead. Let's take it. And still have to be careful, because this guy right here, and the king maybe wants to come in like this. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually possible. Um... Okay, so do we push this guy? Is that, a, is that a good plan? Is that a bad plan? Do I play h5 and then just bring my rook over and try to checkmate the king? Is that is that an idea? That might be an idea. Let's do it. Let's play h5. Little pawn sacrifice. He takes the bait. Okay, okay. Ah, but I can't take this because of this pawn. Didn't see that. Did not see that. Well, basically the game plan is the same. We're trying to checkmate the king now. Changing my strategy. Don't like it. I don't like it. Man, this cat. Not cat. Dog. Thought I was playing mittens for a second. This dog is tricky. Pinky is so tricky. What do I do? What do I do? Did I mess this up? I can't take anything. If I go here, I just lose it. I gotta go back? Seriously? I could go here, I guess. I guess I could do that. All right. Hold on. Hold on, guys. There, there, there's got to be something here. I'm going to go for it. I'm, I'm just, I'm going for it. I'm giving up all my pawns. I'm going for checkmate. I'm going for the checkmate. Let's bring it up here. Super interesting position that we have now, though. Really interesting. So, I've got to check. King's probably going to go here. It's just a question of... Ah, but... Oh, okay, that was a mistake. Finally. Finally, that's the mistake I needed. It allowed me to get the queen over with check. And now we have checkmate. Take that, pinky. Take that. Okay, folks, uh, the next bot is Ponchik2600. As you can see, my rating is not that high. So I'll do my best, but, uh, you know, can't promise how this is going to turn out. Now, the good news is Ponchik's not rated like zero or one, like some bots that I will not name. So maybe we have a chance. All right. I wanted to play bishop b5. I really wanted to play bishop b5. Couldn't do it. Oh, okay, now I can do it. Great. Great. All right. I'm going to castle. He's going to play a6. I'm going to trade. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to play d4. And take here. And take here. Oh, okay. I'm going to take this one. And what I'm going to do is push my pawn like a wedge, like a wedge in black's position because of the old en passant trick. And it just kind of keeps black cramped. And I think I'm going to defend that with my rook. And maybe even hop my knight in here. But I can't, I just lose the pawn. Okay, 
Um, how do we do this? How do we do this? Going to d4. Do I really want to play that move though? b3 and Fianchetto the bishop is an option. Bishop f4 is also an option. Bishop e3. Then the pawn probably just gets captured. Huh. Interesting. About queen h5. Oh, I like that move actually. It defends the pawn. So I don't need to have the rook there. I can actually do other stuff. But also, maybe I can attack. Maybe I can attack this, this dog. Knight to e4. Ah, but g6. Wait a second. Knight to e4, g6. What do I play? Queen h6. I'm going to lose my pawn. Is it worth it? Bishop f4. We'd have bishop f4. Boom. Yes. All right. Knight to e4 it is. I'm coming for you, buddy. Ooh, rook to b5, using the rook along the rank for the lateral attack. Okay, I didn't expect that. Let's see. Well, I mean, what if we just go for checkmate? Because why not? h6, got to move. Huh. Can't really like go here because I would just lose that because of the pin. That's an annoying move, I have to say. Annoying move. I could just play f4, just defend that pawn. What else could I do? Bishop g5, is that a crazy move? Or bishop h6? Probably not. Just trying to think of something crazy like that. No, I'm not seeing a whole lot of, of options here. Not seeing a whole lot of options. What if I play bishop f4, sacrifice the pawn, and then just try to checkmate the king? What if I just do that? Take it. Take it. Yeah, computers always take the free pawns. Now, how do we checkmate pawn check here? We bring a rook up. We do a rook lift. We sacrifice the knight for... I don't know why, because Something crazy there. Knight to g5, bishop to h6. What's what's the idea though? What's the idea? Rook here and over. How does how does Black stop that? That's my question. I'm gonna do it. It's a little slow, but oh, going for the back rank checkmate. Okay. So I have an idea here. I have a very clever idea. What if I bring the rook over? This is going to happen. And I block with the bishop. Then h6. And what? What do I do? Knight to f6 check. Oh, that would be so nasty. King goes there, takes, takes, takes. Oh, but it's not checkmate. Man, okay, I'm still thinking of this idea. There's also this move. Same thing. We go back there, we sack that, we come in with the check, takes. Problem is, I'm going to get mated. That's the problem. I'm going to get mated. So, I mean, we could also just play like h3 to give myself some space to move, but then we take away the square from the rook. Let's check it one more time. Bada bada bing, bada bada boom. That's checkmate. So h6 is only move. And then it's so close. It just doesn't quite work, I don't think. Knight to f6. If the bishop takes, we could take with the pawn. And that's going to happen. And I'm still in trouble. Still in trouble. I wonder if I could. Hmm. I wonder if I can like just move this here and then go for that because then it takes king here here I almost feel like I need a place for my king to run to like I almost feel like I have to play h3 but I didn't want to play h3 okay 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 there's got to be something here I I'm just feeling I'm just feeling like there's something here that I'm just not seeing. What is it? What is it? What about knight to f6 check right away? Let's just say the pawn takes. 
Okay, just for sake of, of uh, analyzing. We could go check. King goes over. We could go here. That's checkmate. That's checkmate. So if I go here, I think the bishop has to take. Okay, fine. We take. The rook comes down. Okay, great. We can go back. Who cares? Um, that looks pretty good too. Maybe knight to f6 check is the move, guys. May oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bishop takes, pawn takes, there's this one. I see what pawn chick wants to do. I see. Okay. And what about knight g5? Did I already calculate this one? Bishop takes, bishop takes, or queen takes. That doesn't look as good. Rook to g3. What if I... Oh, there's an idea. I could just shut down this whole checkmate idea with, like, moving my knight here. I could do that. Uh-huh. I could totally do that. There's no more rook b1. No more rook b1. Now, I lose a knight as an attacking piece, but I still have my rook coming over. I also go knight here with the idea of having this as an option as well. That looks pretty good, too. Because what I'm thinking is if I get the rook over here, how exactly does black stop that? You know what I mean? Let's... Yeah, we'll go with knight to d2. Okay. You can take that all day long. Rook here. Checkmate is the idea. h6, bam. Checkmate is still the idea. Of course, maybe the king can run away, but is that really... What Ponchik wants to do? I don't think so. I don't think so. How do you like that? How do you like that? H6? What? I'm taking that. If this happens, I'm coming in. And it's not looking good for Ponchik over here. It's not looking good. Boom. Oh, G6? That's what you want to do? Really? Really now? What if I, oh, what if we do a crazy queen sacrifice? We take, we take, we put the bishop here, we put the rook down, checkmate. Except I need like three free moves. I don't have three free moves, unfortunately. But I take, takes, takes. Yeah, and then I'm, hmm. Not quite. All right, so we got to move the queen. We have to move the queen. Or play rook here, actually. Hold everything, hold everything. Rook here. Point is of takes, 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 checkmate. Rook here. Hmm. What's black gonna do? What would Ponchik do? You can't take that. You can't move here. Oh, you could move here. You could move here. Although, takes, takes, takes. Ooh. This is so wild. This is so wild. So that's an idea. Or just moving this guy is an idea. Although I do like this. I do like this. The king going here, though, is, is one thing. I could just drop back, though. Oh, boy. I think we have Ponchik on the ropes. I really... I'm just feeling like we do. Let's, let's go rook g3. Let's go rook g3. The point is I'm threatening to take. Uh-huh. Okay. So I think we just drop back here. We keep that discovered threat, which is very dangerous. For our friend here. And I don't think it quite works to take it right away. Sacking the queen. Taking here. Just don't see quite a way to... Oh, hold on a second. Actually, let's, let's say I did take that. Ah, uh, but I'm losing my knight. That's one issue. Losing my knight. Bishop can go here. Yeah, it's just not going to be quite enough. All right, so let's go queen h3. And how is... Oh, that's what he's going to do. He's going to bring the rook over the king back. And the rook's going to defend everything. Oh, what a clever move. All right. I can't go there. The king just takes it. I can go check. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I go check, king's got to move somewhere. I sack the queen. I take the bishop. I'm threatening to go check and potentially checkmate. Ooh. That looks super, super good. 
I don't know if there's another way to play it. I think I might have to go for that line. But here, just let's just recap. Let's just recap one more time. We go check. The king moves somewhere. Doesn't matter. We sacrifice. The king takes. We take the bishop. And essentially, what we're saying is we're going to go here and get a mating net. Oh, the pawn could even push forward. That would kind of mess that up. It's too bad. Then my knight could come in. I don't know. We got, I guess we got to go for it. What else am I going to play? Like, what else can I do? What else can I do? Yeah, we're going to go for it. So we're going to go for the check. I mean, I, I could move there, but I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I could take first. Does it matter? He takes me, then my rook comes over. Same idea. Oh, but I'm going to lose the e-pawn. I didn't see that, guys. I didn't see that. All right, so if I take, he takes. I mean, check, but why? King moves. I take. I'm losing this. And it's, it's hitting my, my rook. That's not good. Oh, all right. Do I have to just play a different move like queen here? I didn't want to do that, but I might have to. I might have to. It's so unfortunate, you know? What if I throw in a, a random move here? Just, just, I don't know, to, to be kind of crazy. You know what I mean? What if I go here? What's the point? Queen takes. No, I don't see the idea behind that. Do I have to go here? My brain is, is not sticking with it. I guess I have to go here. I, I just don't feel like the queen sacrifice quite cuts it. He take oh he takes that anyway. Of course he does, because it hits the rook. Of course. And if I take, I lose a rook, I go here. I'm getting checkmated. Okay. He's going to just trade everything and go into a winning endgame. That's what he's going to do. Just like that. Check. That's too bad. I really felt like we gave it a good, good try. I guess I have to defend my knight. Otherwise, I lose the, the knight too. Man. He's going to take, you know. Probably gonna just trade everything. Three, four, three, four, five, six. So I'm down two pawns. And now I have like no attack. That's, that's not ideal. Not ideal. All right. Do I wanna give this up to activate my knight or do I wanna try to save it? We'll try to save it, I guess. Okay, let's go here. Maybe we can defend it like this, make some sort of crazy blockade. Maybe we'll get a knight fork at some point. Okay, uh, let's play h3. We have no more back rank mate problems. Okay, he's, he's lining up on the knight. I'm not loving that. What can I even do? What can I even do? Here, not great, not great for me. Yeah, can't stop all these pawns. Look at this, look at this, just rolling. They're just rolling. Take that. Mm, yeah, all right, I'm gonna resign, it's over. But I am gonna check the game because I think we had Ponchik. I think we had him. Game review, what do we have here? Game review says we played with 80 accuracy against 2600 rated computer. I'm not, I'm not too, you know, ashamed of that. Did we ever have a winning position? I think we did. Ooh, wonder, wonder. Ah, great move. 
wait for it, great move, we were winning, I knew we were winning, I knew it, we were winning in this position, I just messed it up, the winning move was, oh, knight to d2, wait, is that what I played, I did play knight to d2, what, what did I do wrong, rook to b3, so you throw in this move, gets the queen away. So let's just say the queen moves like here. And then you go and attack, and there's no more shenanigans here and here. And on h6, you just... No, you don't take it. You jump over to rook to g3. And black is toast. Black is toast. That was it. We were that close. We were that close to beating the pawn trick dog. I missed one thing. I missed this. Wow. Wow. We were so close, guys. We were so close. Uh, I would say I would try again, but I'm tired, so... See you next time. Thanks for watching. Stay sharp. Play smart. Take care.